notification email. You're going to click on the link just like you would on any other website and uh, you would have your email and your password. So let me just show you how to get started. Once you have your uh, email and password, can't see my password. Okay. Oops, sorry. There we go. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you uh, want to set up your profile is obviously just to go to my profile. There you can see my profile is already 100%. Once you've filled in your basic information f uh, firstly, it's already going to uh, be in this first step, so you don't have to do that. It'll do it for you automatically. So this is your investment structures. Um, whether you want to invest in your own capacity through your LLC, if you've got an offshore LLC or you have a structure like an offshore trust or a company, that's also welcome. We've got a few clients who's got offshore Mauritius trusts or whatever, so it can be any of those. And then Siska at our office, she's our KYC expert uh, through PKF Capital because they're obviously going to do a KYC on you. It's got to be a legitimate bank account with the supporting documents if you want to do it like that. But signing up as an individual is the most easiest way to do it, obviously. So you just click on edit and then you'll see there's all my information. There's my tax number, there's my date of birth, my ID, my physical address. Ladies, don't write that down. It's I am married. <laughs> okay, your banking details. You have to put your banking details in there. It's not that it gives us authorization to take money out of your account. This is we, if we have to pay you back. They have to do a know your client process. So they have to know that you are an existing person and that you have a legitimate bank account. This can be an offshore bank account. It can be South African. It doesn't matter. You can fund your um, investments from abroad. And then obviously once you give us authorization, we can pay that money either back into your account, your profits, or you can reinvest it out of your wallets. But I'll show you how to do that now. So it's very easy. You just follow these steps. And um, there you'll see you need to upload a copy of your passport or ID can be either one. So passports are for people who live abroad, they don't have an ID, so they just upload it twice. It's got to be certified and a proof of residence not older than three months. I mean, it's that easy. Most of you carry those documents around in your laptop bag. Um, and then you just go and save. Your structure set up.
Yeah, it's just what's currently on our uh, on our website for investors, uh, which we think are the two, obviously Australia and then Richmond and Honan Medical Ten. We are busy with one in the UK. It's called the Lal Group. That's not on here yet. We're busy with the final stages of due diligence, whether it's going to be a development or a income. Um, I think also, though, to, to answer your question, this is, at the moment, it's still not like private property. It's not just anyone can put up any properties and whatever. There's a huge amount of due diligence. So It's an offshore thing, so I mean, it's like 0.12% anyway. Like it's it's pathetic amounts. So you know, for me, I showed you my when I logged in. I, I take my money out of my trading account as quickly as I get it in. I put it, take it out basically, because there's no point in leaving it there. All that I try and do is I send my personal money to my trading account, like I told you, in my salary, so that I don't spend it if it's in my standard bank account. Yeah, that's the global investment due diligence system. That's how we rate our properties out of 10. So there'll be a 140 tier due diligence process that the team has to go through. So there's a, a massive amount of effort that goes into each of these properties. They have to fine comb everything. Besides the partners that we start with, then we start on their properties. So they go through the financials. What, did, what rent do the people pay? And so if we tell you that it's currently r running at an 8% per year after costs, um, that's because we already went through it. It's an existing property, so. So it's a very good question. And right now we are aware of the fact that it's not intuitive enough. So remember I showed you those badges and stuff? We literally are working on building the intuitiveness. It's not good enough at the moment in terms of the explanation. Um, and so we're wanting to make it more transparent, more understandable. Okay. I showed you all the behind the scenes stuff and you can read the book, but it's online, it's not intuitive enough basically. So step two, it's going to ask you to upload your documents, but you've already done that. So all you're going to say is next, because you've uploaded your passports and your proof of address already. 
Now the amount. Dat is nou waar jylle nie moet skaam wees nie. I'm going to invest a thousand dollars. Maybe I should make it a hundred and cause some havoc in the office. <laughs> yeah, okay. So when you get to the select the amount, if you got a voucher, just go and redeem your voucher. And it's going to ask you for the steps and you just put your voucher code in there that it's going to ask you. If you struggle, please phone into the office. We've got KYC experts. Uh, Claire, you guys lift up your hands there. There's three ladies there. See her, they will help you on the help desk how to redeem your voucher. So it's just going to ask you to confirm that I've read and understood from PKF Capital. You weren't given any advice. Jacques, just, just quickly, do you remember the whole conversation we had just before lunch? This is the essence of what we were talking about just before lunch. In terms of us not touching your money, we're not controlling your cash. Back to we can't lose your money because if I don't touch your money, I can't lose it to start off with. This is just acknowledging the process and how it works, basically. Like. Yeah. So then from our side, wealth migrate. Obviously, it means that you're a natural person with some knowledge and capable of evaluating your merits and risks. Um, tick those boxes. And then uh, obviously you confirm that you haven't, have, haven't been given any advice by wealth migrate and invest in this opportunity based on independent financial advice. So the reason why we put that up there is because we're not a crowdfunding company. We're not a financial advisory company. We are a smart collaboration. the document no it's fine it's fine don't worry it's you don't have to it's not the, the reason it. being let's 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 look at this so we we had to have um cliff can, can explain it better but it was about a year ago we had to have a kpmg penetration report well, how long ago was that about a year ago so we
couple of people, not a huge amount, but we have had people that have wanted to get out. And at the moment, we just do it in an off-market environment. Like, we literally go to the investors and we say, hey, guys, there's someone who wants to get out. Do you want to take up the shares? And to date, we've actually had a problem because there's been such a bun fight because obviously the developments were working, et cetera. So, do you know what I mean? It's not always like that. And again, if we had another global financial crisis, we don't guarantee liquidity. If there's not someone who wants to take the thing, we, we can't guarantee that, you know? Yeah. So the shares are Do you want to just show it there quickly, the, that yeah. buy sell thing? So mm. you see that thing there? There, there? That open, high, low, close. That's the, that's the functionality that we're building at the moment in terms of the, what, what we refer to as the secondary market thing. Yeah? So that's, that's a work in progress. There's a question at the back. I just had that problem. Um, Trust, uh, South African Reserve Bank, they've got to give you clearance. And the amount of documents and stuff you've got to fill in, they don't like it if South African companies invest offshore uh, in other investments. So South African companies, South African Trust, I had a client a few weeks ago. I've heard of one guy getting it right, physically going into the South African Reserve Bank, filling in all their documents, and I know you can transfer a billion rand if you want to, but it's a lot of clearance. It's, it's more difficult than that. I can put you into contact with people that can help you with that, but I had a guy midway just give up. He said, no, no, yeah. no. So I think uh, the simple answer is difficult. we can do it, but you've got to get your tax approval. It's that simple. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we, we, can, we can help with any structures or whatever, but there are certain things like a trust that are just more difficult. But an offshore trust, more than welcome. So that again, so from a FICA perspective. I you, can answer that. It's yeah, yeah. PKF Capital. So guys, th just so that everyone could hear that. So the question was, when I get fikid, am I being fikid by South Africa? Am I being fikid by America? It's actually neither. So it's PKF Capital that have all the right licenses around the world. And they are the ones that are fikiring you because they, are the, they have the right to hold money, move money. So based on their licenses and their jurisdictions, that's how they run the, the, the fika. We were literally there last week, uh, two weeks ago, sorry, in the Seychelles, working with them because we wanting to automate and digitize the process and make it even easier because FICA around the world is a nightmare and we're wanting to make it easier for people using digital solutions. Very much so, yeah. In, in, the, in the current system, financial system, yeah. I see a future maybe, I don't know, just hypothetically, off the record, maybe with cryptocurrencies and maybe something like wealthy coin, people might just be able to swipe their finger from, anyway, we'll go there one day. Let's get
do the transfer because he's investing from a company to a company. Yeah. Just to clarify that, South African companies who are not a property related company cannot invest in any foreign investment. So it depends on the company or really what the resolution is. 80%. So yes, if you have an offshore company and that domicile in the jurisdiction allows you to invest in other entities, but you cannot invest from sale or local trust yeah. into any offshore investment. Exactly. Also, if your company is not a property related company, you can't invest via that vehicle in an offshore investment. Guys, I think, the most, I think, the, most, I think the most important thing that we're trying to say here is that we've built a platform. We can't change the South African Reserve Bank rules. So the point being is that whether you invest with us or you do it all on your own, the trust and the company is you've got to get reserve bank clearance to be able to use them it's not that you can't do it but the, you know we've got people we can help you point on you know they can help you but we don't do that for you you know for us as people if you're using a company you would have to get that tax clearance before you could you could move and money speak to your tax professionals or your state planners and your financial advisors to help you in setting up the right structures before entering into investment but as saying i said that, you know, saying that though saying that though it doesn't have to be super complicated. Yeah. Like there are ways to set up an offshore structure, which is probably anyone that wants to invest in a trust or companies because you want an offshore structure. There are ways to set up an offshore structure that are not expensive. Trust me, I've done it four times and I've lost a lot of money and a lot of like, frustration in the process. We found ways that are cheap and effective now for people to be able to do that, should you want an offshore structure, if, if that's fair. Yeah. Yep. No. No. There's no minimum. Well, he's five, so if it is, I don't know really know how much like. Yeah, so it's so exactly. Yeah. yeah, so we and it's quite important to set their own profile up because it must be theirs. It mustn't be oh, I've put a hundred bucks in your thing, in my thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. so if you want to create a profile for your kid, you're going to sign an authorization letter that you are the parent. Um, instead of his ID, he's going to have an unabridged birth certificate certified. Um, your ID needs to be uploaded, of course. You need to write a, a letter stating that he is living with you, and you also need to upload a proof of address not older than three months. So, yes, you can invest for your kids. A lot of our clients do that. So and you I just open their profile for them and just also prove that they have got a bank account in their name that you've opened. So I think the beauty no of the platform is oh, instead of you doing this for your kids from a young age and you building him something he doesn't know about it, this platform is really so simple to use. He can start learning how to use it and learn the process of real estate investing and starting gaining a responsibility and look after his money. Instead of he wants to have a PlayStation, give him a hundred dollars and say, listen, I'll show you something fun and let's learn how to create a bigger financial plan. So I think the educational side that the platform can bring is also something really valuable to kids. Guys, it's not only kids. You know, I take my brother... And, you know, he comes to me and he says, which one should I invest in? And I said, well, if he's in medical, now he's learning how medical works. If he's in multifamily, he's learning how multifamily works. If he's in logistics, he's learning. Like, we actually all get to learn while doing. It's, a, it's really powerful. Like, it's a really important thing to think of. Because it's not only about return, it's about knowledge as well. I want to read this thing that Sean Quinn put on the Wealth yeah, Group. Yeah. Um, this is one of my clients.
because there's no point in projecting something and you know you need to go and calculate what's my bottom line at the end of the day. We're projecting or showing you what your bottom line is after all the, the deductions and taxes have been, sorry, not tax. Yeah, so it's, it's a great question. The way I'd like to answer that is twofold. One is that traditionally to date, yes, they have been conservative. Going forward, I also see a future where, you know when you go on Alibaba or Amazon or any of them, and you've actually got like all, of, all the social proofing of the partner, like how quickly do they communicate and all that. I see a future where someone says that they're going to give you, it doesn't matter what the return is, 5%, and they only gave you 45 their rating will be your accuracy to actuals is 90% or 85 or it might be 120% where they're actually overperforming on their conservative assumptions. That's the future we want to be building into the platform so that people can see visibility of track record. For now, we're using effectively old school methodology to check track record and then to see assumptions. But to date, to, to be credit to both our investment committee and the guys that are working, they always err on the side of caution. We'd rather under promise and over deliver but, you know, that, it, that's, that, I mean, I've been in this game a long time. Trust me. You know, to the Detroit story from Pedro is classic. I'll get 18%. You heard his react my reaction. You know, there's a very big difference between a return on paper and a return in your bank. They're two different things. Does it make sense? So we're on the same page. Guys, I think let's call it. There's nice cold drinks next door. If people want questions, we're not going anywhere. We can ask anything anyone wants. 
but it's a much more relaxing environment next door. Thank you for your time. Thanks for staying. Just a bit of interest. Just, just a bit of feedback for us. Was this worth it to stay for the half an hour or whatever afterwards? Yeah? Because yeah? the feedback we had elsewhere, we didn't do this. So it's something we're learning. Maybe we should do this more. Okay. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.